Hello, hermit crab people. There's my babies. They're two different species. We've seen that before. I've said that before. She, I'm calling a she, is a purple pincher, and he just is very pale. So I'm just gonna go a hermit crab. I think he might be a tree crab, I'm not sure. But we just got done with the tank change, and uh, it's a little bit set up differently. And why? Well, there's a couple reasons. They've been here for two weeks. This is two weeks, and I don't see any wants to change these shells. I've got all these shells down here. It's hard to see. I've given them lots of opportunities and places to dig up underneath of and grab a shell. And they show the, um, the desire to change the shells. And they're just checking everyone out. I'm bringing shells home just about every other day and uh, letting them have at it. They're very happy. They're very healthy. Dinner. That's blueberries, bananas, strawberries, um, some cantaloupe. I think there's a piece of apple and some grapes. Fresh water, salt water, a cool little house I found. And my blue, my little boy, loves that little basket for some reason. Little stuff up in there. He likes to sit in that basket. She likes that stick, huh? Now, I had to go back and sort of... I don't have that one done very well. But she can grab a hold of that glue. I may even have to take that stick out of there. She's very curious about that. But over here, I have a um, area. Since I'm kind of anxious to get these shells changed out, I'm giving them minimal things. They've got lots of beautiful little things to uh, climb in and dig in. And we've got a great big area back here. This is going to stay up there. And what I'm hoping, because I looked up my shells, my, my uh, crabs won't molt or change their shells or anything. So the thing to be dealing with right now is to just let them do what they want to do. Which makes me really, really nervous. I really believe they should have had their shells changed. They're very active. But this is, like I said, this is two weeks. You gonna get in there? Huh, babies? I'm probably more hands-on with them than I'm supposed to be. I like all them. They hang out with me. Oh, I hope they're not gonna fight. She went right back over there and is now standing on him. Now that I won't break up. That's their thing. She didn't pinch him or anything. She just rolled right over top of him. She is so much bigger than him. And there she goes. This is a new little house. It is so cool in there for them. It gets a little humid. There was a door on it and I didn't dig it. But there's plenty of places for them in here to crawl around and have their baths and have their food. But me feeling guilty and trying to be the perfect hermit crab mom, I have this. Now this looks very minimalistic. It's another aquarium I have. And for the past couple nights, while they're up and crawling around, oh, they may fight. They better not. She better not. Are you being a bully? Hmm. 
What are you doing? Are you being so mean to him? They look very hydrated to me. But anyway, um, once they're up and they're like awake awake, because these little boogers love to sleep. But once they're awake and out doing this stuff, I put them in here. My theory is behind that is because I've seen them and when I was, you know, taking care of one thing, I put them in there. Sort of like a um, temporary thing. You know, I don't want them running around while I'm trying to clean up their tank or feed them. Oh, she's in the water. She's going to take a bath. Are you going to drink? Are you just going to try to escape? There he goes. But anyway, like I said, they walk around in circles, just like the hamster wheel. Just like the hamster wheel. You like your little bath? Hmm? That's the fresh water side. And that's the salt water side. She bathing. Now, this is the time of night that I would pick them up and put them in here and then put that up top of here so I can keep everything damp and together with lights. I'm not going to get them out tonight. I'm going to let them just hang out and look at their new shells. They're staying over here in the shell, so maybe we will see something. There's shells in there as well. Just so there's enough air. It's not all packed down. There she goes. Where's she going? Okay, bye. Okay. I know it's not six inches, but it's the best I can do right now. To make them comfy and cozy and happy until I can get these shells off of them. It's just like they don't want to come out of them. I'm thinking once they get out of the shells, maybe they'll molt or something. I don't know. But in a few minutes, I'm going to uh, do a, a test. Okay, say goodbye, guys. Bye, guys.